Hi everyone, so today we're going to be reviewing the um, Samsung App Store. I'm sorry about the quality of this video, I just want to say that in advance. Um, I know it's not particularly focused. Unfortunately, this seems to be the best I can get it. I can try, I've tried zooming in, but that doesn't seem to make it any better. So it looks quite blurred, so I am sorry about that, but it's the best I can do. So, first of all, I'm going to show you a little bit in the Samsung App Store. Um, it's just an icon. Um, works similar to the way that um, other app stores work. Go into it and you've got a list. The first thing with this is that I find it quite clunky to use. Um, you've got a featured, a top and a category across the top. Um, so within that featured tab it's showing you hot and new. Um, so you can select there. Um, top, it's got um, top free and paid apps. And then category... Um, it's got you know entertainment, ebook, games, health, life, music, video, news, navigation, productivity, reference, social networking, theme, and utilities. One of the nice things is um, under oh, I've just clicked. Sorry, under where it says so social networking, it's got your icon, um, but it also tells you how many apps there are. So there are thirteen items within social networking. Um, the one thing that I would say with this is that to me it feels quite dated um, I think that's probably because of the black background with the white writing um, it reminds me of sort of early BBC computer programs um, where we had a BBC computer um, also one thing that I do like you've got a search and a back option at the bottom of each screen and if you hit that you get a tab that comes up which has got downloads, sign in, settings and about. Um, works in the same way, you only have to set up an account if you want to um, kind of um, sync a credit card with it so you can buy apps. Other things with the app store, um, very limited in the number of items, um, there are a lot of bad apps. Um, there are a lot of uninteresting apps and I also found that the um, selection of free apps is really limited and um, would see would be nice to see more um, light versions of full apps and um, just so you could try them out um, so if I just go to some of the apps that I've downloaded so I downloaded one called Smart Runner um, this I must admit I haven't used yet it's a little bit like RunKeeper if you've used that on the um, iPhone or maybe on um, an Android device and um, you have a button down here to start the exercise off ask you whether you want to use GPS um, and you've got a little button down here which brings up options so you've got routes sports user and properties and um, sports is quite nice you've got a list of runs cycling inline skating Nordic walking motorcycle driving flying so I do like that I like the option of different sports um, the user, um, so there you can add um, a name, a date of birth, um, your gender and your weight. Presumably um, it pulls up some kind of calorie detail for you. Um, so if I go back, um, this is a real favourite magic torch. Now this is one that I'd like to rave about. These ones are all going to be free. Please assume that they're free unless I tell you that they're paid for. Um, magic torch, I just press that and I've got a torch. But if you press the tab at the bottom it brings up options and this is what I love you can have light bulb which is what I've got there you can have white screen you can have low energy light bulb which I just think is really cute I just quite like that um, neon um, which is quite funky um, and then the last one is flash um, now I'm not going to turn this on because it will actually um, blind you you get some light here showing the flash but also if you look you can see the flash there um, the flash on the camera on this phone is fierce um, so that definitely gives you a good torch if you need it so just to recap that one's called magic torch it's one that I'd really recommend this one is called oh there we go um, I can't remember what this one's called actually so this is um, S-U-D-O-K-K-U Sudoku um, the K's are capitals, just a Sudoku app. Um, haven't used it probably to its full potential, um, but really like this. It worked really well. Um, buttons down the bottom for the different numbers, um, your grid. 
um, no problem at all. One that didn't work so well is the London Tube. This was a free app again, um, but it loads to this. And then um, you can't see, but it says start, help, about and quit. So if I click on start, it makes a noise and then it goes back to the home screen. It does not do anything. Um, so that was really frustrating. Um, keep fit tips. This is one that's actually from the NHS. Um, it's got my goals. So you choose which what your goals are. Um, they a variety of things including sort of quit smoking and it gives you um, tips and it will also schedule to send you new tips during the day so I thought that was quite nice um, a nice free app um, sleep care now this is one that I love there you go you can see there sleep care and um, so at the top it's got it's hard to describe the pictures this one down the bottom is like um, the sea with like light beams this one's the moon this one's kind of leaves and this looks a little bit like um like a radar circular section um oh so here you go here's the name so seaside night sky forest and sleep care um you set let me press it out you set on the tab um so the set time about and help so set time, you have the options of 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes or 50 minutes. Um, and then you have um, the different music. So you can have this one. Turn it up so you can hear it. You can have forest. Night sky, or um, seaside. So um, I really like this app. This is probably one of my favourite apps um, at the moment. Um, of the ones that I've tried works really well sends me off to sleep really quickly I always feel like I've gone into a really deep sleep really quickly um, and I think that that one was free um, I'll look for that in a moment and just confirm that with you for you um, light alarm so I don't like the alarms that are on the Samsung phones very much they don't seem to wake me up very well although I have now discovered that you can set any music mp3s that you have on your memory card as alarm tones so I might try that it might help me um, I think the problem is that it only snoozes for three times and then it just doesn't come back on again and I think that's the problem that I snooze it three times and rather than it just being persistent and in the end me being like ah okay I'll get up um, I give up so I got this um, my issue with it is that you can't lock the phone um, and you can't use any other app with it. So it means that I can't listen to my pretty music to help me get to sleep to then need to be woken up by the app. Which for me de just completely defeats the object. So um, a bit of a fail um, from that one. Um, it acts quite nicely if I just set... Um, so hopefully in a minute it will come on and um, you will see how it lights up. At the moment you can just see me reflecting. Hi! <laughs> That's quite strange. It's obviously, this phone's obviously quite good to use as a mirror. I'm hoping it's going to come on. Okay, I'm getting bored of that one. Basically, I don't like it very much. It doesn't work very well. Alarm clock. So this is one that I paid for. I think this was £1.50. Um, it takes ages to load up. Um, as you can see now, it's just sat on um, Vanilla Breeze site. has a nice screen. Um, you can touch it to change what colour it is. There you go. Make it green. purple, white. Um, again, my issue with this is that you don't seem to be able to use it alongside any other application. And this one particularly seems very memory intensive. I've had a couple of error messages come up saying that there's not enough available memory. 
Um, so that bothers me because I don't have much on my phone at the moment. So um, I think that's one that I really would say, save your money. I kind of feel a bit robbed that I bought it.